If you've been struggling to have a child, then you know how tough that can be on a relationship. It's not easy for many couples, but our next guest put their main focus on why they wanted to be parents and less focus on where that child would come from. After three miscarriages, Stephen and Laura Mason became foster parents to a little girl, and in less than a month, they're hoping to have full custody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I know there's somebody watching right now, and, and, and when you have in your mind, I wasn't quite sure I would be able to have a child. Sure. Uh, it's, it's scary. It's hard, and the one thing you have is I'm gonna have my own child. <laughs> did you ever have that feeling and then let go of it, or did you all start out knowing that, you know, we just have love to give? You know, I, I think it was kind of a, a mixture of both. You know, you always start out with goals and family planning and things like that, and, and think we're gonna get married, we're gonna have X number of kids, and it's gonna look this way, and so I, I would be remiss to say we didn't have a little bit of that. But it was also a time to take a step back and say, okay, we've had these miscarriages. Um, is there another opportunity? Is there another avenue? Is yeah. there another child out there that can uh, experience and have the same love yeah. uh, regardless? It, it, that is so tough in a relationship. I've been through it as well. Um, what advice do you have to couples who may be going through fertility treatments or they've gone through the loss of that child mm -hmm. through a miscarriage as well? Um, I think mainly just, you know, just a... Uh, Seek encouragement with each other. You know, it's like um, you're not alone in it. Um, yes, you're both and hurting. yes, right. you're both hurting, and it's one where uh, just like it's something that's not talked about. Um, but so many people, I think it's like one in three or one in four women, you know, suffer a miscarriage yeah. at some point. But it's just like this hush hush, you know, where um, and I think just. For me, um, being able to, after having that experience, reach out to other um, people that I've come into contact and just, you know, kind of help them through. It's like a each situation's unique, yeah. but um, and how it's like I understand. I understand yeah. how you know where you're coming from and how you might feel. Yeah. I think All it's right. too important to remember. There's nothing wrong with you. Just because exactly, you've had that yeah. miscarriage doesn't mean you're defective or there's something uh, different about you than somebody else. Yeah. It's just sometimes what we walk through in life. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, you, like I said, always open to adoption. But the first step that you took, and that's a journey in itself, right? It is. <laughs> okay. Yes, so you made your decision. <laughs> this is what we like to do, and it started with fostering. It did. It did. Yes, ma'am. We actually. Um, had sent out emails to a bunch of different agencies here in Houston and, and Buckner was the first organization that got back with us mm -hmm. and so we went through the process and it, it took about uh, several months with classes and training and just things like that and then our daughter moved in our home in October and so it was kind of uh, we almost felt like we were buying a car you know they stopped buying and said sign here, 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 here's your child. a luxury car the best that right, the best the best you can get right you know, and I now remember she actually looked she'd been in our home not less than you know uh, 20 30 minutes and she looked at everybody and said okay y'all can go now and <laughs> and they just left and, and here we were with a, a daughter Aww. you know and so yeah. it was neat to see yeah yeah how old <laughs> she's six years old okay yeah. so you got a little bit, a little bit older her, right yeah nice and so um uh your advice for someone who once they've made that decision a lot of times people will also say i want a newborn baby i want a newborn baby and that there are newborn babies that need yes. homes Absolutely. as well but you were open to an older child yeah we'd say don't limit yourself yeah. you know there's there, no potty training there there's no exactly. potty training yeah. there yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but also there's so many children that need love you know why why limit it down to hey we're going to look at it this way and it has to be this child why not just be willing to say hey whatever child we have let's love them let's give them a family to be a part of yeah there has to be some patience oh, going yes. through the process right oh, yes. <laughs> and what's that patience um i mean mainly just uh you know, just even the whole adoption process sure. yeah. itself. Cause it, just the process of it, you know, it's like a ups and downs and wondering, you know, when exactly this will happen, if it will ever happen. You know, it seems like the process will go on and on. Um, but then it's just the, you know, you you reach those milestones and right. um, it's like in the end, you know, it's like a, you reach that goal uh, of a child being placed. Celebrate this, so. the small wins. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, we made it through this class or we, we got this training done or we're this much closer. And for us, it's, hey, we're this much closer to finalization. Yeah, yeah, so, that's yes. going to be the big win, oh, yeah. right? right? What is that going to mean when you have a judge say, and now you are fully the parents oh, of man. this child? I it's hard to even fathom, uh, but uh, you know, to us, she's already our daughter. She's already a, a part of our family. But, um, but to have that to where now um, those documents have been changed, and she's now, uh, man, that that's going to be a special moment for yeah. us. Yeah, and a special moment for her, I would imagine, because oh, yes. she's old enough to know that you're not yeah. her biological parent, yeah. but she yeah. knows something that I think is so valuable, and that is you chose her. Yes. The rest of us get what yes. we get, right? <laughs> But yeah. you chose her. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of power in that. More than 6,800 children available for adoption in Texas right now. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes. You have one of them. And thank you, you very much for sharing with us. And thank you very much for stepping up. Thank, thank you thank so you. much.
All right, to learn more about the Buckner Foster Care and Adoption Program in our area, you can log on to buckner.org backslash Houston. We'll be right back.